Hello, hello. Um, shoot. This time. Three, two, one. Let's check this. Good enough. Okay. Hello. Welcome to. Well, something I've always wanted. Well, something I have started. But it's been long overdue. So, uh, welcome to How to Draw. Basically, I uh, basically I teach you on how to draw certain characters, for which I uh, <laughs> love to draw a lot. Uh, you may have man, you may or may not notice that uh, cartoonist is here. Uh, some of the unexpected special guests. He's just gonna be here for God knows how long, but uh, yeah, he's just he's the voice of uh, the person I'm about to draw first. So I'm gonna take. I've you may have noticed I put these in four different sections, and you may also may have noticed I'm drawing with my mouse, which is what I've been doing for quite a long time. But uh, let's start with the one and only. Oh shoot. Funny man, stick, stick man. Uh, ba ba ba. So basically, he's literally, uh, he's literally the um the thingy. The, he's the, he's the he's the main antagonist of you know the stick man series, which is I don't know why I could name it the stick man series because it's only gonna be one. <laughs> Or maybe in the future, I don't know. It really depends on how my future self will, you know, come with this. But he's literally the, um... He's usually, like, the default model of quite literally every stick figure. So if you're having trouble deciding on how to, like, draw all the characters, just use him as a basis. So, first of all, easy said and done. Wait, what? You just gotta draw a circle like this, right? Easy. Uh, any circle it doesn't matter if you use a circle tool or not. It really depends on how you want it. And then I'm talking like a Twitch streamer and I. <laughs> <laughs> then um, you draw the, the the two eyes right here. Uh, hold on, let me fix that. There we go. Oops, a little too wide apart. There we go. You draw the eyes and. The, Good smile right here. This is good. Um, like some examples. Well, I'll, I'll cover that later on. Then, what you now want to do next, easily, just draw my, normally how you draw a stick figure, which is, um, well, just the body like that. But, uh, oops. Thanks, Khalif. <laughs> hey, Khalif. Well, then. I always want to have him like arching forward just a little bit. So then now what you want to do is to draw. Well, it's a little, it's a little different from the Henry Stickman and regular stick figures. If you always want to like draw how to draw the way I want to, it's use some. It uses heavy, heavy inspiration from Henry Stickman, which you, you should probably see right now. And while I. That's how you draw the man stick right here, bonkers. Uh, let me just write, dude. Um, some examples of what not to do. Let's draw like that. It's not it. But that's only if you want to like do it in smears, but never like a static idle. You don't want to draw the eyes too close, like that. And you also don't want to 
You also don't want to draw the eyes too wide apart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shoot. That's literally how you draw the man stick. He's like the basis of quite literally everything. This man. <laughs> Let's see. Long. Too close. Too far. There we go. And, well, he's basically, um, he's a really, like, really good model to use for, like, quite literally every character. Because, well, not every character, more like every stick figure in existence, basically. So, I like to have him... I first thought you're gonna pull out. <laughs> so basically, um, it's got a, he's like really flexible, like any you know stick figure does. So if you want to draw him like a really cool pose, like the Sonic Adventure pose, uh, you can do that. Something like that. Oh, no, that's not a good mouth. You can probably put like any mouse on them either, so. Let's see. Flex. Apple. There we go. So. Let's see, let's start with the hands. We'll, we'll cut this into different parts. Hands. <laughs> or any. Big. Gear. There we go. Hands. They're normally like... Normally the hands are like in a default balled up um, hand. Which is which is cool and all. But sometimes you just want to go... You just want to expand out of that, right? They're really like boxing gloves or like knuckles. Uh, if you want to like think about it. So I guess this is like the clenched fin. Clench fence. Oh my god. Clench fist. <laughs> right here. Uh, let me turn down the thingy. Oh yeah, what I'm using now is called an Aggie, which is pretty cool. A lot of people can like... A lot of people can like collaborate on drawings, just as uh, Cleef is doing it. <laughs> so, I kind of like... Um, let me draw some boxing gloves. There we go. But they can also be like someone out something like outside boxing gloves. Like for example, the pose I drew earlier. You can also point like do a pointing finger like this one. Which is really cartoony and all that stuff. Just like that. Boom. Now Subu like they have fingers, mainly like, they normally have like four fingers, which is what I would say. But normally, uh, normally they won't be shown at all. 
But in rare cases like, I don't know, let's say that you want to draw an angry uh, guy, right? Oh, well, angry guy. You can just draw like the middle finger. Like that. That's that's a very rare instance where all the all fingers are showing. Let's see. Four fingers only. There we go. Um, let's see what else. I never drawn this this one before, so let me try something. Um, no, actually, when they're like clenched up like that, they sh all the fingers should be like. Uh, be like that. There we go. So, like when they're pointing down or up, that's really how it should be. Or, <laughs> or should be like this. There we go. There we go. Look. <laughs> Let's see what other things I can probably do for hands. Oh yeah. Also, um when they want to like when they want to like open their hands, it's again, it's more like boxing gloves, right? So, yeah, nah, you don't do that. That's not good. Actually, let me do that. Um, reason why, reason why it's doing it a bit slow, because, well, duh, recording into, it's on, uh, Chrome, which automatically everything gets a little slow. Do that. There we go. Let's see what else. Um, faces. So, I guess when you're drawing the faces, they're they really have this little default. Um, you know, smiling face. You know. Just default in general. They always, they always should have like, you know, they should like feel, um, how'd that be? When they're, when they're looking though, um, it's okay to have them, it's okay to have them like, um, uh, like tilt their head because they're, you know, the cartoon characters. But when you want to like move their eyes, however, <laughs> It's also just like Henry Stickman, in which, um, you know, the line eyes, like, bend to where they're looking. You don't want to have him, um, unless it's, like, a very expressive moment, or when, like, the art style kind of changes a little bit. Depending on what the uh, what emotion they're having. Uh, let's see. You don't want them having look it up like this, which is you know, just like what is that? Because that just looks real weird. Have them looking up. If you want them to look up. 
um, they gotta have like they gotta like really move like the entire face. You know? <laughs> okay. There we go. Now that I established that. Um, what else? When they have like eyebrows, right? It only depends it it really depends on um it really depends on like um if they're like showing us like feelings, right? Their ang their angry eyes is is normally like that. Let's see. Mad I've done I done this like recently as well, having their eyebrows do like this. And it just like really worked for some reason. Agree. And then I really arched their eyebrows. Rage. There we go. Because they're cartoon characters. So, of course, they're going to like... Have these type of like expressions. So, it's okay to have like, it's okay to have um, like shadows in their faces. Like, er like earlier, me and Cartoonist, hey, Cleef came back. Me and Cartoonist over here um, did a drawing recently. You'll see you'll see it on Discord if you join, but uh, we did a drawing recently where uh, his his character Cortez and uh, and Blobby the cat and the stick team like you know somewhat running away because they're being outnumbered by these monsters. <sighs> uh, minus KJ, he's in the background. He's just there because why not? <laughs> he he drew down on his own terms, but um. It was like having these shadows on their faces. And I was like, hmm, how could I have them, um, like, show, like, shadows in their eyes? Well, it's, um, quite simple. So, we want to do the anger face again, right? And then, I'm gonna, well, yeah, let's do that. It's kind of like the same thing for humans. You want to like follow like how their eyes are like made, right? Fuck. I also yeah, I've also figured this out recently as well. Um, but I kind of have their eyes, well, the shadow on their faces like that. There we go. You also kind of want to treat them like below the eyes, normally how humans do it as well. So, boom. I guess you could say that's where the eye shape is at. There we go. Actually, let me darken this color. Oops. Oh, 
voice a bit laggy. All right, basically just like that. There we go. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and draw the body as well, because why not? This is also a really good time to like use these for the future. <laughs> Maybe that's why he's angry. There we go. Let's say that he's like a little sad, right? So sometimes you want to draw the eyes like this. Let's say sad. Well, so far that's like the only, that's only like one of the, hmm. I've never really drawn the sad face a lot actually. Let's see, sad, just sadder, because I don't know how to. <laughs> nah. Well, yeah. I don't know how to, like, do everything else afterwards. So let me just. <laughs> Never really came up with it. I'll, I'll let y'all. I'll let y'all how they do it. So, I'll just draw that for now. I, I'm just gonna put. <laughs> so. Hmm? Oh, he's fixing the circle. Let's see, what else about the faces? Um, I guess I'll draw them a little bigger so I can really show you all the funny details inside. There we go. Okay, so let's try making them shocked, right? So this is normally like a really shocked, um, well not really shocked, just shocked in particular. This man. So let's call this shock. <laughs> and then, I don't know, just strangled. <laughs> just go crazy with like the faces though. We don't. I, I guess you could say the tongues are not really visible at most times. Let's they go like full on Tom and Jerry mode. And then let's say it's like really worried. So let's call this
Nah, not that. I guess we can call this... I don't know what to call it. I don't know. Just like really worried. I'll just call it this. Uh oh. I guess I can do it like that, I guess. Um Man, I really dropped this. Oh my god. Let's see, what's next? Um Yeah, then we could kinda have him. Just bored. Uh, let me straighten this line just a little bit. There we go. Oh, pixels bothering me. Bored. And then like, how long is this recording going? I don't know. Just disappointed. At Frick. Thanks, Chrome. Very cool. Dang, bro. Mad funny. <laughs> I guess one more thing I could show you is to like go crazy. And like I said before, cartoon character, clearly just a stick figure, basis on how or who it is. So. <laughs> kind of took notes from, uh, I guess, from KJ's side when it comes to expressions like these. So. Oh, yeah, I forgot this one more thing. But after this, I'll, I'll, when, once I'll cut this from the thingy, I'll show you. <laughs> um Guess he's like really nervous and all on this one. I'll just draw two more. Um the one I've been drawing recently. Don't know why it's just like really funny. Then there's just like, I don't know. Um, that's one more I can do. Well, I guess Sandy faces cannon, so. <laughs> what a cartoonist feels while I'm drawing these. I don't know. He'd be like, what the frick, dude? Alright, this one more I want to show you. It's one I somewhat briefly drew, but it's not really it.
Let's see. Un sure. That is all. Oops. So I did I did the bases, the hands, the faces. I guess the body. Okay. Should have done this earlier, but why not? Of course he's white. What is he? I don't know. Red? Uh, pink? Probably do, I don't know, yellow? But why do that when basically any stick figure, almost any <laughs> stick figure character in the show is white? <sighs> that does not mean the, the what race they are. It just means that their skin by default is just white. It's weird. It sounds racist as heck, but you just gotta believe me. So, <clears throat> yeah, really, we can. If you want to say that, wow, okay, so everybody's just like white, like the race. No, because canonically, Sam and G are black. No, no, no. Sam is black. G is canonically light skin. It just doesn't show because they're all, you know, the, the skins are naturally called colored, uh, white. Except with those who have like ungodly powers, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll, how I might touch. Well, we'll touch on that like later in the series. But it, anyways, um, their bodies are like. Well, this one shown above. Um, just like there, you know. Not too much below and above. Just perfectly good human size, you know? Not like... <clears throat> not like... Overly long. God, that's... Nah, just no. That's gonna pull a Malachi and have everything be overly large and some features extremely short. <clears throat> and now we're gonna not have like. That's also pulling a Malachi. We don't want that. Go ahead and color this uh, green. I guess some, I guess like, they're all like shaped how, you, you know, a normal cartoon character would. Really, there's no need to sketch them because they're really easy to draw. And two, you just, well, like I said, it's, it's fast on the go. The only thing that does need sh like sketching and all is like how like the designs are probably like worked, or if the designs are, like overly complicated. I don't know. I don't want to make everybody overly complicated because that's just that just makes things one not fun to draw and two very hard to animate. Which is why I keep all my designs like. <clears throat> As simple as possible, but at the same time, a little detailed. Like, geez. If I was going to go for, like, overly simplified, geez would have been exactly like Sam's. So. Let's see. Oh, that hurts. Sorry, hold on. Let me fix that. <laughs> Let's see. I guess a few poses are... 
like that. It's okay to draw like one of the other first. It really doesn't matter. As long as you make the body just right, you're all good. But mainly I like to draw the body, the base body first, then the arms and legs as I go. There we go. Let's see. What else? Um, now the body, some different views are a little, just a tad bit tricky, but not as tricky as you think. It's basically the same way as how you draw like the bodies. Um, Kind of like, you know, just there, just vibing, you know, like this one, for example, he's just vibing, you know, something to vibe with, something like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Their feet, of course, is like Malachi's, except, you know, just don't have to, like the thing in the middle, like the, the inwards, I guess you can say. I can do like a, I can probably do like a little lesson on um, buffs, J Sam and G, just not now, just a little in the future, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, all of this is just stick man, everybody, basically everybody is just like stick man with hair, which is like real basic. But if you do it just right, you might get like a really good character design. For me, currently, I somewhat, well, I still need practice on that. So. <laughs> By the way, that is not me doing that, as y'all saw. So. <laughs> good lord, that's a lot. So that's Khalif's. He did a pretty good job. But besides the fact that the feet are not like that, he did a good job. But I think the limbs are a little too long. He vibing though. <laughs> Oh, that part really triggers me. Hold on. There we go. E vibing. Let's see. What else to the body? Do you like a couple poses? Like I said, he's like flexible and all. He's. Um, sometimes you just want to draw one leg connected to the body more than the other leg, like for this drawing, for example. Um, you know, he's got to be able to sleep. Hi, my name's Stickman. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. <laughs> Dang it, Chrome. There we go. If you want, if you want to draw them, like you really gotta use the restroom. You just gotta. Draw like the legs like that, you know.
bonkers. Got he's got to use it, you know. Let's see. Um, what else? I don't want to like draw hats on him, but just okie dokie. Ooh, just fine by me. You draw like hmm. draw a little cap on him, you know. I have to do my gentleman. It's okay to like have the arm not connected to the body as well, which is fine. I like I like to have him. I like to have him like really expressive. He's gonna be pointing at you, the horny person in the background. You're the sole responsible for why Rule 34 Stigman exists. That man over there, officer. Let's see. Um, I could probably fix that. Hold on. There we go. Probably when they're facing backwards, you want to have like the eyes somewhat close to the border of like the head oh man this thing is gone it's about to draw that Yes, I am about to clue him with a sword. It is really windy outside. What time is it? Four o'clock. Jesus Christ. Um, this sword. He doesn't fight with just his fists, but that's like, uh, whenever he doesn't have his sword. You'll have it with them, you know? And his sword is like... Well, I don't know how I'm gonna right on how he got his sword um but i will tell you this that his sword is can we draw actually up front yeah that's a good idea okay The sword. I well always called it the stick sword, cause why not? It's a little 
two lines. So let me just circle that. There we go. Let me draw one. I have not drawn a more with the sword for quite a long time. Well, before this, well, it broke. I broke that streak a few. Uh, actually, two days ago when I drew one of the one of the retraws of my buddy cartoonists. So, I really want to. I know people keep saying that he should like lose a sword, but I that's been like a staple since you know middle school. So losing the sword means he's just a regular stick figure. At least it's something to do with his personality. Uh, yeah, I'll draw it thicker actually. And just looking up, you want to draw a little bit of the eyes. <laughs> You're just launching forward. Yeah, that's that's a pretty cool idea. Why not? Why not have an eye thought about it? What the frick? It's been years, and yet I've never thought about it like making the at least handle thicker so what else I can do one more pose with him I kind of don't want him to wear a cape it's, he's like, you will be like that generic sword fighter with a cape thing with Jiggy. And I don't want that. No, not kind of. I just don't want him on that. So. Dang. I realized this tour would have been a lot quicker if I drew all four. But oh well. We'll just stick with one for now. Um, <clears throat> We'll just have him. Just angry. Just angry. Oops. I like draw like very dynamic, you know. Oops. He's not as cocky as Sonic, but, well, he's not just cocky, he's more like a smart thinking dude. Sure, he has flaws, but that's what, make, that's what pushes him to keep going. He's also almost as fast as Sonic, I should say. Well, without the boost, I mean, he's just that fast when he gets, well, I can't say because that'll be a spoiler at the point. I like to draw them running a lot. Uh, I at least love drawing like stick figures running a lot. So that's one reason why he has like Sonic's powers, you know? Super speed you saw during episode two, yeah, uh, that's one of his powers. Kind of aim off It's just weird. Yeah, oh, it's this cannon. Hope you like. 
I could probably do like Sam and G in the same group. This well, they're both similar, so. Hmm. Let's see if I can draw with the Sonic One pose like that. And there you have it. That's how you do the funny man stick. Yeah, that's it. Two colors. No, it depends on what type of shading you want. It really depends on what day it is, but I prefer. Let's see, something a little light on the blue side. It's okay to have like Shannon on him. Yeah, I'll just do it with every portrait, actually. That'll make it a lot easier. Recently, I also recently started doing this as well, cause um, well, it just looks good. <laughs> yeah, I'll just draw that. There we go. There we go. Pretty clean uh, shade of blue. I like that. Nothing too fancy. Just some regular shading all beginners can enjoy. But yeah, that's how you draw the man stick. Hope you I hope you enjoy that little tutorial. Cause I will be po I'll be cropping this part of this entire canvas for all to enjoy. Or I could just make it into one uh, one big canvas for everybody to see for both four for the four main characters. So actually, let me fix that S because I want to make it just a little more professional. Thank God I'm on my big computer. Otherwise, that would have been a bro moment. There we go. I like to have the S's a little close to each other. S's aligned. Should I have it? There we go. To make the S a little less awkward looking. Also inspired by that cool S people keep drawing back in 2016. That was my attempt at first, and I was hmm, I like this kind of S. Let's keep it. <laughs> you know, I might as well go along with this. Yeah, the et. The color of like the yellow really depends on what day type, what time of day it is. So if it's like, or actually, or where it's at. So if you wanted to like draw segment of space, I guess these are somewhat the right colors. Yeah, that's that's a good color. There we go. Color the man stick. Oh, let's see what he's doing. Oh, I forgot there was like an extra space right there. Oh yeah, um, one piece of trivia before I go. <laughs> <laughs> before I go, but did you know? Um, at one point I was like, hmm, everybody else has hair, so what if I give him hair, like visible hair, I should say? 
to like this really big old big old uh fluff of hair. Uh didn't didn't suit out well for me. So eh, I just kept him, you know, he's not bald. Just has very short hair. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's not bald. Every time people call him bald, he really doesn't like it. So. I should know that shading. I don't like that. When it's in the dark, then yeah, I could probably even have his eyes. Something like that. like that actually there we go but yeah most of the time tongue not visible but when it does it really does let me draw like one more thing Oh, it's raining. Uh. See, look, he doesn't like you, man. He's normally, he's, he's really kind to of people, though. But when they're on his nerves, they're on his nerves. So... Bonkers. Man really added the lips. Yes. I like I like what this is going for. Ah, oh, really is raining. Man, that's how you draw a stick, man. Um, hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um. Let me try one more thing. Default. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy. This has been part one of God knows how many characters they are. And, <laughs> yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, Thanks for watching. And I'll uh, catch you next time. Bye. Dang, almost an hour. <laughs>